Hello and welcome. Hi, my name is Teddy Chineris. If you don't know me, I'm a Twitch streamer. I uh, I did this podcast with my friend Tyson. It's called Tyson and Teddy Talk the 100. Uh, so if you're wondering what this video is, right? Before we, before me and Tyson record that podcast every week, uh, we always sat down and caught up on each other's lives and talked about video games and movies and TV. And it just was basically its own little podcast and, and conversation that I thought flowed really well. And honestly, I figured if somebody were to listen to it, it would be entertaining. Uh, so, you know, I don't, it's really a bummer that I decided to do this on the last episode but i actually really me and tyson both want to record something else whether it's continuing that show or starting a new show um so maybe this will continue but for now here is episode one possibly more of tyson and teddy bs because <laughs> all i did was i joined the discord call and i started recording so this is just us talking for an hour about all sorts of bullshit so I hope you like it. <laughs> I wonder if it'll, it doesn't fix when it disables there, does it? Oh, I know why. My Discord's really low. That's why. Let's do that. That. Do you know what isn't low, Tyson? Your spirits. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Willing it into existence, dog. Oh, he's gone. Okay, let's do that. Where the fuck is? Also, this remember one? that thing that I was gonna do at the beginning of this podcast? I'm I'm doing it right now. Just if recording. it'll let me. What the shit? Oh, I have to I have to close. I don't know here. why it's not letting me. Oh, because there's no title. That's why. Close OBS and then turn on the camera. Boom. No, what the heck? So I just posted Not about the show on Reddit. <laughs> oh. oh, my dog was at my foot. Oh, I'm so... Maybe if I turn off camera, that's what I have to do, I think. And then turn hmm. it on. Then do this. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's magic. Oh, oh, oh. It's magic. You know. I mess around with like so many settings. I like watched a video <clears throat> on my phone. I mean, uh, I watched a video on uh, like camera settings. Yeah. So like everything's being done in the camera, not like in post. Fancy. So it does good. look better. Your colors look better. You mm. look... Honest, I I don't know. You look a little more orange than I feel like you should, but you'll I don't know what I, you'll get it. <laughs> you'll really. get it down. It's something with the lighting. Yeah, I I definitely need better lighting. I'm using a like two lamps. So Me too. Once and I, have, I it's just a wall. So yeah, lighting's gonna be the next thing, the next big purchase for here. Look at my art. Look at it. Doesn't nice, this look better? Nice. Like you can't yeah. see them. At least this one you can't see super well because of the light. Uh, you can see the core one pretty good, but like mm -hmm. you can't see them amazingly. But it's so much like it makes so much of a difference. Like this frame, like this shot looks so much better instead of just having yeah. the blank walls. Like everything is yeah. filled in pretty perfectly. I like it a lot. I like it. Look at my little ring nice. grimes. Remember that show? I mean. Remember him? Didn't he die? <laughs> no, that's what's weird. He's not dead, but he's not on the show. <laughs> he so he doesn't missed. die? No. He, doesn't, he doesn't get killed. I thought he got killed off because I think like Carl got killed off. Carl did, yeah. Spoilers. I, well, like it was a spoiler for me because I saw what's his name Chandler, whatever, Chandler Riggs, tweeted dog. on, <laughs> tweeted on, went the to Twitter. the same <laughs> church camp that I did as a kid. Oh. Fun fact. <laughs> But Went he, to um, Snowbird in North Carolina. <laughs> I remember him I uh, tweeting it, tweeting it out, being like, yeah. "Oh, yeah. it's been great on the show." And I'm like, "Oh, well, that's now I know that you got." It was something in his tweet that he like pretty much. Yeah, like, oh, it's off. been, it's been, you know, saying farewell, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like um, I remember when he got, <laughs> I remember when he got shot in the eye. 
<laughs> Why are you laughing about that? <laughs> because it's just so stupid funny. Stupid fucking like, kid back. getting shot in the eye. <laughs> Idiot. Who shot him too? Um, I'm trying Was to remember. Was it one of the other kids? Like the... Oh, uh, I think you might be onto like the, something. The chick's kid? Shit. Like, I mean... That blonde, that Rick what, killed the, her the husband. Girl? The, like, little girls. Because there was a little no. girl that, like, killed her sibling. Oh, yeah, there was... Or whatever. Yeah. That no, was in the comics, the and they were not girls. They were boys in the comics. There were the two boys in the town. And then, like, they had a mom, and Rick, like, was... uh, Like, I don't forget. He was... Not romance in the mom, because the mom had a husband. But then the husband came back, and then, like, Rick killed the husband. Shit. I genuinely, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, man, The Walking Dead, if I were to rewatch that, that would be a fucking trip. Because, like, the thing it's is, a like, moment really... in time. Like, it would teleport yeah. me back to high school. I'd be like, whoa. And I there's so that... much I do not remember, you know? Oh, it'd be crazy. That'd be a fun one. Remember Lori? No, Lor- is it Lori? Yeah, Lori was his wife, yeah. Yeah. Remember oh, no, uh, no, Shane? No, I'm thinking, who's the blonde that got killed by like the governor or something. Oh, I think I know who you mean. Oh, oh yeah, I do know who you mean, but I don't remember I her, name. her name. Um, she was like from season one, but oh, like, yeah, I can't but, remember. And then in that season, everybody hated her. Like she, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think People she were like, sided with the off. governor. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then they did eventually. I'm pretty sure. Did, yeah. what, did they ever do that 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 fucked up scene that Michonne has with him in the comics with the governor? I don't think they did in the show. I don't think so. In the comics, Michonne like tortures him. I think she cuts off his dick, <laughs> like for real. I don't think they did that. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't I remember they didn't that. do that. <laughs> didn't do that. Michonne remember, Governor show. Remember, uh, what's her name's sister? Um, the actress' name is I think Emily I know Kinney. Yes, Beth. Yeah. I was thinking Beth. about her the other day. Yeah. I was just like, remember when remember she died? Beth? That was a, that was a yeah, good. That was like a pretty fucking solid like moment, you know? That was a really yeah. good moment. That was sad too. Beth was probably the last death in The Walking Dead that I remember being really sad about, like genuinely. Yeah. You know? And then I was just pissed when they fucking, did the cliffhanger. Yeah, dude. When they did the cliffhanger, I was I, I checked out. And I, don't I, was even, like, I don't even remember at this point. But yeah, Rick's not dead. Fun fact. Fucking spoilers. Rick's not dead. But oh, like he's so not wanna, on the show. No. No, he's not. You want to know something so, even weirder about all this? Is Negan, is Negan like the the lead now? No, no, no. Oh. He is. I thought like he is still there. From I thought the they were first gonna... two episodes of season ten that I've seen. Does he have like first a episode, uh, redemption arc? I mean, no. <laughs> he's a prisoner. Oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe oh, he does in this season, but right now he's still I love just that actor being a prisoner. That actor's just he's great. Still there. He's very good. Yeah, he's fucking great. The um. There was one scene in the pilot for season 10 where he was there and I was like, oh, look, you're still around. Look at you. He was like gardening with a with a guy guarding him. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Uh, so who's still so who's like the the lead? Honestly, Michonne? like Michonne right now in, uh-huh. in season 10 for like the pilot. It's like Michonne and Daryl. And. I mean, those are like the two leads but even then there's there's so much more going on it's like michonne daryl you know what's fucking weird oh my god it's michonne um daryl carol is still around ezekiel is still around um but it's so fucking bizarre and weird in season 10 when it opens and like judith is a full-ass kid now and it's like because they do so they did a big time jump and then when rick left they do another time jump like it's far in the future at this point so judith is like a real ass kid (laughs) judith is like the age carl was at the beginning and i'm like what the fuck (laughs) it's so weird and and they have another son rj there's a kid named rj who's michonne and rick's son it's crazy Um, it's like what the fuck but why would he leave his kid behind well okay so he didn't he didn't leave voluntarily he basically okay. sacrificed Pretty. himself by blowing up a bridge and then he got whisked down the river because you know you don't see the body so you're like oh rick's not dead and he got ri- whisked like you do with some eggs you know whisked yeah. down the river 
And then um, one other character who was there for a while who's fucking weird and, and creepy, um, like, finds him and takes him on a helicopter and they fly away. <laughs> and you never see him again. And his story is supposed to be concluded in, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this many, or if they're doing this many anymore, but there were supposed to be three movies. There were supposed three to be movies? three Rick Grimes in theater movies. And oh. they're not even, they haven't even started production on any of them, but there were supposed to be three. And that, that's don't where they that. were going to conclude his story. Which honestly, when I heard that, Really intriguing and not a bad idea because like uh could have done that for because how cool uh, would that be like Game of Th Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's it, what they should have done. It would honestly be really cool to like see I, I don't know how they would do it and make it good, but just from a production standpoint, that'd be really cool to see that show be like, no, we're doing a movie now, you know? That'd yeah. be really neat. But I don't know what the it's fucking weird. But you know, it's a, it's a show. It's a show, my dude. It, it exists, and it still I started exists. Watching, That's what's great. I started watching uh, Pretty Little Liars. Oh, wow. I've heard very good things I'm, about that. Oh, really? Okay, good. Yeah, um, I don't. It's not terrible. Yeah. It's like, it's, I think it's 2008 is when it started. Yeah, didn't it or end? Or maybe when like it ended. A couple no, years it ended ago in 2008. Something? Really? Fuck. <laughs> a couple so years like, ago? <laughs> 12 maybe. years ago. Hold on. I'm looking remember. it up. Um, but it's dated. Like, there's some music yeah. choices and <laughs> no. look at this photograph. <laughs> well, there's Smoking no. There was like back. a song. There was a song by uh, Two AM Club, um, and it was a song that I really liked. And I was like, "Holy crap! I I remember this song." And I was like, "Oh man, it took it took me back <laughs> took to a time." Back, um, but it's yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I'm still just in the first season. No, I it, have nothing. Bro, it ended three years ago. It ended in 2017. Okay, so then it started in 2008, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's like seven seasons it's, or so. It says, uh, after initial order of ten episodes, ABC Family... Uh, yeah, oh, here it is. The series premiered on June 8th, 2010, so... Yeah, 2010. Oh, okay, 2010. So yeah, season in. So yeah. Here. That's not, that's, it's like seven seasons. That's yeah, a good, I remember good amount, hearing so. a lot of people talk about like the finale relatively recently. That's why I was like, didn't that uh, end a couple years ago? A few years. And like I've always heard it. I've always heard about it. I always knew what yeah. the show was called, and so I. But I never. I think I was just like. <laughs> I think I was just. Uh, Me too. I mean. <laughs> too too old, or maybe I just wasn't in that like loop for yeah. that kind of TV. And so, but then like after watching way. Gossip Girl again, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just. It's on Netflix, and so I was like, let's just do it. And it's like it's, on it's Netflix? really cheesy. I think it's on HBO it's, over here. Yeah, it's on HBO Max in America. That's crazy. It's terrible, terrible dialogue. <laughs> Gotta love it. Not the best acting. Has an eighty-one percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It's those, it's those secrets where it's like, oh, Ooh. somebody. It's like twists and turns, Ooh. and like this person's supposed to be dead, but somebody's sending text messages, and I'm just like, oh, I love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why. I just love. Yeah, because it's just like, it's that mystery that like I can't. Like figure I'm, out, I'm, you know? yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, okay, okay, well, who would be texting like all of these? Like, it could be that person. Maybe they're connected, and and so I'm like, okay, if you can if you can keep this going for seven seasons, then. Do you remember the Flash season one, dog? You ever watched the Flash season one? Yeah, good. I, I, you remember how at the end th of every episode there was a fucking like stinger or whatever the fuck it's called with Harrison Wells. And every time it just yeah. and and for a while, like at a certain point, they started getting blatantly evil. But like for a while, it was just a little suspicious of like he'd go and talk to somebody, and you're like, yeah. "What the fuck's going on here?" Is it, and like I remember following the subreddit, and everyone was making these theories and trying to figure all this shit out, and it was legitimately like a good fucking like mystery. Now look at the flesh. Now look at it. We got I Mr. Plastic. That. That's not his name. <laughs> and we got, what, what was the other girl? Stretchy Man. We got Stretchy Man. We got Mr. Fantastic. We got that fucking, that girl who's just a reporter who shoots light. I, and she like used her oh, powers like, like a, twice. Because I totally forgot she was a meta. Isn't it like Livewire? 
<laughs> no, that's enough. It's a totally that's another new one. character. She's like, oh. uh, I don't remember. I like Livewire. Her. Allegra is the character's name. Like the the drug. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty drug. sure we've talked about this, and you said that before. I was like, yeah, yeah. Allegra. Yeah. The actress is super oh. cute, but like the character, like what the fuck is going on? What are you doing with her? I don't know. That's a, that's, I don't want to talk about it. I've got a, I've been watching old stuff that is, that I thought was bad and like trying to give it another chance. Like Why? I watched. Why do that to yourself? Cause I got nothing else to do. And I'm like, I don't like, yeah, I don't have anything new to watch. Hmm. See, I, so, like, when I'm I don't in feel such like a good stuff, spot for TV right now. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't have it, like early now anything to watch for TV. Mm, so, mm, mm. so I watched like um, couldn't be <laughs> imagine. Well, I watched I watched X two, which isn't a bad movie. It's probably the like, the best X Men movie. I I cannot judge whatsoever because I haven't you haven't seen, seen any of the X Men movies. I've seen First Class, oh. and that's it. Actually, no, no, no. Uh, I've seen so bad. I've seen First Class, and I've seen um, D- Apocalypse. Future Past. Saw that you in seen, theaters. Se- so you saw first class, then, then you skipped Days of Future Past. No, and wait. Then you hold on. I think I did. There's one that I'm missing. I think I did see Days of Future Past. Let me look it up just to be sure. So when Wolverine goes back in time. I think I did because I isn't that like still canonically like before Apocalypse, right? Yeah. Well, the the first part. Yeah, like the, the the 1970 part. Yeah, yeah, because I, I don't know. I remember trying to look up what I needed to see before seeing Apo- because I saw Apocalypse like at kind of funny live three, like with a bunch of people, uh, like with that whole group. So that's that's why was it even called Apocalypse? Yeah. Because when I searched it, like, yeah, wow. Yeah, Um, I think I watched both of those in oh. prep. I think I watched it. I genuinely at the time, really fucking like First Class. As somebody who had seen zero X-Men movies and then watched First Class, I went to I went to my friend Andrew and I was like, bro, I know that this is not how this worked. I know that there was stuff before this and all this. But like, if you started with First Class and then just built off that, like, you know, a cinematic universe, it'd be really good. Like, that's a good fucking starting point. That is a good first movie for that, like, kind of thing. And, but I was like, I know that that's not reality. <laughs> like, I know that there were movies before that. And, but as somebody who just saw that, I was like, not bad as, like, an Iron Man. My my only good my only good takeaways from First Class are... The uh, cinematography. Charles, Charles, and, Charles and Magneto. Yeah. But seriously... Like, the, I, I hate Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique. I mean, that's fair. With... I guess a burning yeah, uh, passion. I uh, don't think that she's well, like she checked out, I don't know, <laughs> probably halfway through that first movie. And they're like, Oh, but you signed on for how many more? And so like, uh, it's just so, so bad. Yeah. Um, the, um, legit though, like watching that movie, the cinematography is surprisingly good. Like it's, sh- it doesn't have to be that well shot. And it is <laughs> like there's a I remember a lot of shots in that movie being like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is really good. Like super symmetrical kind of fucking uh, what's the what's that movie? Fucking uh, the, the sci fi Blade Runner. Very like Blade Runner 2049. Oh, okay. Not that caliber, but like very similar in some sort of ways. And I was like, mm. fuck, <laughs> it surprised me. So, yeah, I would I would say you watch the I mean, if I'm you haven't seen like, X-Men. <laughs> really? Yeah. X-Men and X-Men <laughs> and X2 are like they're better than a lot of Marvel movies. And then Days of Future Past as well. Apocalypse is terrible. The Wolverine's really good. I've seen Days of Future Past. It is better than no Marvel movie. Are you kidding me? A hundred percent. I did not no. really like it. I liked it's it better, better than, than it's better than Thor the Dark World. I liked it better, better than, than Iron Man 2. For sure. Apocalypse. Apocalypse was, was terrible. Rough. Yeah, it was rough. It's Again, rough the only good part of Apocalypse was the uh, Quicksilver uh, part. Yeah, which is like a minute. <laughs> it's, yeah, not, but hey, it's not super it long. It's worth it. I, yeah, I've I heard still people... love that his name's Maximoff because, like, that's one. I'm just like, they couldn't be the same characters <laughs> in, in the MCU, but yeah. they have the same last Wanda name. Wanda Maximoff. 
yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's very. Um, no, X two is really good. I've been I've been like going down a, a an X Men like rabbit hole. Also, because I thought I, I like looked up that uh, Hugh Jackman <laughs> in X two. I will be the same age as him next year. Shit. So I'm like, you know what? I was looking at Hugh Jackman in X Men. Oh my 2. god! You're like, I can. And do I'm that. like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh I could be god. that by the time I'm that age. Because like later on in like uh, Days of Future Past, he's like ridiculous. Yeah, like, it, it just <laughs> gets even more insane. It gets a little too. Yeah, so I'm like X two. I could goes. probably do that. And so that's my that's my like goal for next year. Shit. I mean, that'd, that'd be impressive. That's for sure. He's not too, like, he's not too big. This, I mean, before you got to have a lot of heroes. Veins. Got. Yeah, it's very important. But it's, well, we have the same amount of veins. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> I'm glad we have that confirmed. <laughs> um, But yeah, like this was before all of the superheroes got like ridiculously jacked. He was big. Before we learned like, the huge. science of getting yoked. As the kids say, yeah, yeah, because we've learned pumping it now. steroids now into like every single superhero. Yeah, pretty pretty much given all of them the Captain America super serum. Be like, here yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that they fucking wish that that's how that worked. You know, they wish it was that easy, but it's not. They have to fucking train, eat a certain way for months. Yeah, but the thing, it's not like it's hard for them. It's still hard work, but it is all figured out for them. You know what I mean? I don't know. I still like I think I could easily do that if one, somebody made all my meals for me. Yeah. Two, I was getting paid millions and well, millions sure, of dollars again, to do it. It's all figured out for them. But that doesn't mean that the workout itself isn't hard. Like that's still difficult. No, but like if you think yeah. about it, like but yeah, when the, we the meals out, I'm not I'm be... not getting paid millions of dollars to yeah. like lift these dumbbells. Sure, but to them they're probably used to getting paid a million dollars. So it's just life. You know what I mean? You ever think about that? People are yeah. desensitized to if they make all sorts of money, like Yeah, but I think like they have to keep that up or else they don't get that. Sure. But That's I don't know also... if they always realize that. You know what I mean? Like they're Yeah. They're Unless probably... you're like Christian Bale. Christian yeah. Bale is just like, I'm gonna get real fat and then I'm gonna lose it all and become Batman. Then I'm gonna get real skinny. Then I'm gonna become Batman again. <laughs> His uh, body's probably like, please. Stop. stop sir. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, that's not good for you. <laughs> I think he said that the one where he was Dick Cheney was gonna be his last one. Last time, His like last, doing like, that. <laughs> His last, like, body transformation. <laughs> like, he doesn't really, he, he, like, doesn't wear a suit or anything. It's just him. And I'm like, that's just not good, man. Yeah. I'm looking it up. If you look at him as Dick Cheney, is, yeah, Dick Cheney. Look at him as Dick Cheney. He's, oh my God. Yeah. I, and that's Batman. I had no idea. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Why would you do this to yourself? Cause he's like, um, he's like that kind of actor Yeah, but like that he needs, but like, what the fuck? There's an interview know. of him talking about it. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a, a special actor. I remember the, the controversy when he got heated at somebody on, on set and that audio got leaked. Oh yeah. Isn't, isn't he like supposed to be an asshole? Yeah. It's rough. But to, like, I don't, uh, it's, there's like so many factors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. one, he could be doing the same shot for like a whole day. Sure. And like, but other actors could be doing that and also not be assholes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But maybe, well, I don't like, I don't know the, the actual specifics of it, but yeah. like maybe if somebody else fucked up the <clears throat> shot, like, yeah. I don't know. After a whole day of things, I'm not saying I excuse it. I don't excuse it. But yeah. like I can almost see where he's coming from. Like no, I, I would mean, get frustrated yeah. over time if if like somebody else was messing up and I was doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of like. Obviously, he didn't have to do what he did. He could have like. I mean, I don't even know what he. <laughs> oh, there's like I think it's on YouTube where he just like fucking goes off. Just goes off, and he's just like so. He's just swearing and he's yelling, and I'm just like, oh man. I wonder if it's like a PA. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. He's like, it's just an intern. He's like, oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. He's fucking making him cry. It would be really sad. I don't know why that got so dark. <laughs> I forget what I forget what movie it was on. But mm. it was on Actors, I man. Any, I don't know any Christian. I think it was on the dr- the dragon one. The dragon one? Yeah. He's one like Ring of Fire. Is it Ring of Fire? I have no idea what other movies Christian. Rain of Fire? Really. It's with Matthew McConaughey. It's been in a while. Shocker. It's been a, been a, a lot good of actor. movies. <clears throat> Who would have guessed? <laughs> Not me. <clears throat> he was in the Batman Begins video game. What? There was a 2005 Batman Begins video that? game? No, I but I want that. to see it. I don't think it was obviously it wasn't. I assume it was terrible, is my guess. Batman begins PlayStation 2. Genshin Impact. Bro, have you been playing it? I was like, I was playing it off and on, and I was like, oh yeah, this is okay. And I played it last night, and then I went back to No Man's Sky. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back and play a little bit more. Then like it started getting its its hooks in me. It's and, so like, good. I, was, like, I started learning because like oh my God. they throw a ton of shit at you, and I'm just they like, do. I don't know how to I don't know how to I, uh, process all this information. I prepared and for then, that. I just ended up watching like I on my way home. I was gonna play it, so I just started listening to videos on YouTube of like here's what Genshin Impact is. So I was yeah. kind of prepared for that. But if you go in not knowing, I can totally see that being like, what the fuck? This is a lot. Yeah, I was like, <clears throat> and. I didn't know I was playing mouse and keyboard and then I went back to controller and then I went mouse and keyboard and there's a, there's a bunch of things that I don't like. Obviously you can't customize controls. Which oh my is, God, please. If there's legit one thing I would want, it's to be able to customize controls for sure. Yeah. So there's that. It's like close is the X button. And I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, trying to break my brain to do this. And it's yo, so it's, hard. It's Japanese. Like that's <sighs> apparently how, um that's legitimately apparently how video games are in japan like Jap- japanese versions of games just have that switched and it's like oh that's so weird and i i learned that years ago so when this when i when i had to do that here i was like oh huh but the game's made by a company in china it's a chinese dev studio mm-hmm. so oh, man yeah. yeah we're just giving china more money yeah well, yeah it's i cool. haven't i haven't i haven't bought anything yet i still really don't know the the cycle of like, can you, can you get characters? Like, can you grind stuff? Can you do like not? Yeah. Like, can you not? I don't know how, but I know that you can, like, I know that you can get those currencies in game. Maybe there are some currencies that you can't, but like there, there are, cause like different loot boxes have different currencies that you need. So it's like, I know that, yeah, there's a lot of currencies. So it's like, I know that, some of those at least you can get by playing. I don't know exactly how, but I know that I know that you can. I think eventually I I'll probably drop place. some money on it because it's a it's a really good game. It's so it's fucking like, good. Like why it does it doesn't need it doesn't need to be this good. Like it's it's yeah. so polished. It's crazy. And like the thing is is at first I really wasn't getting it. I was like, okay, you get four characters and you can like switch between them. And I'm like, but and then why? you start like, to okay. fucking see, dude. I and did then that I, last yeah, night. Yeah, I like, I like. Oh, you can the combat. You can like, <clears throat> oh my god, it's almost like Anthem, but like all four characters are you are you? Because mm-hmm. like remember in Anthem, you could like prime something and then somebody else I could detonate it. Ah, oh, well, you could like put a primer on an enemy and then another character could like detonate it kind mm-hmm. of thing. So and then it would like do for double damage or yeah. whatever. <clears throat> but this is the exact same thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to like uh, make you wet, which I really just don't <laughs> like. <laughs> that, yeah, that, like it's them wet. wet. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah I got to make them uh-huh, wet. OK, uh-huh. uh, sure. And it's like, That's yeah, you does. got all the enemies wet and, <laughs> and then you like switch to like a. Uh, a lightning person and then it does like more damage or you can like melt and then i'm just like man that's so cool that you can switch between both and you can you can have all their like supers and i haven't even unlocked like their constellations there's a lot of shit it's so fucking deep but the thing is is it's not deep in a like mobile game bullshit kind of way it's deep in a legitimate yeah. rpg way like it's oh, yeah. it's so i don't know it blows me away of like this is straight up 
like I had a somebody come into my chat when I was playing, being like, "So how? So sell me on this game." And I told him I was like, "Have you played Breath of the Wild?" And then I was like, "Do you like Japanese single player role playing games?" I was like, "That's what this is. It's just a, it's just single player it's JRPG. Better, better combat than Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, better. oh yeah. But it's like it's it's legit. Just a, it's a it's a single player RPG. Like that's what it is. Right. And people are weirded out because it's free and because they hear that it's a gotcha game that they don't really understand. But it's like it is a gotcha game, a hundred percent. But like you don't. From everything that I've seen and from what I've played so far, you absolutely do not need to buy characters ever. Like maybe yeah. there will be a point in the story quest because it is like the story quest you need to be adventure rank here and to get to certain adventure ranks sometimes you have to do like ascension adventures i believe they're called to like that's what's necessary to get you to a next rank sometimes they're like blocked off like that and i've heard that you know some of them can be really difficult um but like you can grind and and make your character stronger or grind to get those currencies to get new characters like you can get through it without having to pay, but I'm sure there will be parts where like it would be easier if you just paid and got a good drop from the from the box. But like yeah. you don't have to. And yeah. from what I've seen, you then, really don't have to. Like most of the time you'll just be good and you'll you just play the game and you'll get through it. Like and you'll get to see the story. Like it's it's a story. Like <laughs> it's fully voice acted. It's I don't know, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. It's just a JRPG. The one it's thing a that I've, that I've uh the one thing that I've like felt so far is that like the more that I play this, it's like this is the type of game when it's free, but it makes you almost like I can see myself like putting some money into this because it's oh, yeah. so good that I just yeah. that like I I want that. Mm -hmm. That's a good free to play game. Yeah. Not where it's like that's it's, the ideal fucking it's not like market. gatekeeping, but it's not like it's not behind a paywall. Yeah. But it's like it, it entices you enough. And I know that that's some people's trigger word when it's like enticing people about like spending money on a game, but it's like, yeah. it's free, but it, I like the game so much that, that yeah, I want to spend the, like a couple, couple of bucks on it. It's kind of yeah. like, I guess Warframe sort of was the same deal a little bit. Cause it was free and you never had to, you could always grind for everything. Yeah. But then there's sometimes, but like, if you wanted to fast track it, you could do that. I mean, league and because I enjoyed the game so much. Like I would just, Sometimes I would fast track certain things. Yeah. So. League of Legends was the first experience where I had played that game for like a hundred hours before I was like, I've never paid for anything here. <laughs> I was like, I've played this game for like a hundred hours and had a really good time. And it's like a well-made game that I, I'm going to start buying shit. And I totally, it was a hundred percent. Like, I don't even really want a skin. I'm just going to find one that I think looks cool because I legitimately want to support them. Like, I, I feel yeah. like I've kind of robbed them. <laughs> so, like, it's very good. It legit is, like, I don't know. It blows me away. And it's super deep, and I'm still learning more about it. And, like, the combat is surprisingly deep. So I have my main character. I have Kaya. I have Noel and Barbara. The Noel and Barbara I got from, like, Wishes, which you have enough right. currency to do your to do like one or two um and so barbara has like wet you know wet abilities yeah. she throws out water <clears throat> and kaya has like frozen stuff so i would I, like the other day when i was experimenting and i also learned that when you hold down your basic attack button it does a different attack and i didn't realize that um so i was like what the fuck so noelle has a big ass great sword and when you hold the basic she does the fucking garen spin to win just like, and then when it ends, it does a big old fucking smash too. And I was like, whoa. And then I was learning, like I switched over to Barbara and I was using her basic attack, which is ranged. And I was like, oh, okay. I saw like the wet and I was like, let me just, so I like got all of them wet, switched over to Kaya, froze all of them. And I was like, whoa, look at this combo. Like, and I super. keep learning more about that shit and whatnot. Like, it's so <laughs> cool. It's genuinely one of my favorite games this year and if it continues to get better which i've like opened somebody's stream like i opened githalian streaming it the other day and saw him fighting this fucking boss with all of these characters that are like operate very differently and i saw him like doing these combos fucking dodging shit and i was like and the music was awesome and the boss character design looked amazing and all of the characters looked really good i was like if this keeps up this is one of if not my favorite game of the year like it's so i good. don't think I don't think um, the story's done yet. 
Really? Interesting. I know yeah. that they're still working on shit. Like, I know yeah. they're making a Switch version. I think that's version. what Future said. Um, they're making yeah, Switch a ver- Switch <coughs> version. And Switch they're version, working more mobile on version, co-op. and PC will all be... Like the same account, yeah. PS4 is well. PS4 is the is not the same account, but it's still cross play, which is weird. Don't get it. You can cross play between everything with friends, but yeah, cross save is only. I was gonna download it on PS4, and then I was like, no, because I, I heard I it runs wanna, like, badly have... too on PS4. So yeah, just it runs great PC. on my phone, dude. Me too. <laughs> I, like, I have a Galaxy S8 that's old, I have and I was like iPhone surprised. 8? I was like, what the fuck? Eight plus, so like eight plus yeah. is like three years old it, uh um, controllers yeah. don't are not supportive natively on phones though which is a bummer that that that's that kind of sucks i was like damn i want to get one of those what is it I, it might be time to get one of those little cradle razor ones yeah yeah the razor whatever it is yeah what eric called. was talking about that and i was like well it doesn't support a controller and he was like well you use this third party app and, well, and then it'll work and i was like well, I don't really want oh that. the game doesn't support con- no the game does not support controllers <sighs> yeah natively i guess it's fine like it, like it was fine it's, i guess if you're doing like small tasks maybe yeah i, I really know. like the the cool thing about it is that it is it is a single player rpg with a deep combat system awesome visuals fantastic music voice acting is really good and like i it's it's dope plus it's like all of that single player like awesome triple a video game plus there's like co-op multiplayer that like when you get really deep into it, there's like co-op multiplayer destiny kind of shit. And then uh, like, I don't know what the end game looks like, but there's like an MMO kind of end game of grind and like certain loot that you want. Like, it's like if you want to just play it as a single player JRPG, you can, you can get to the, you know, you yeah. can do that. But like, there's also stuff to continue. Like, it's all of these things that I really like all rolled into one and i just i want to play it so bad i'm so happy i have monday off so i think tomorrow i'm gonna sit down and play a bunch of it i'm really tomorrow and monday which is exciting because i've literally only played like two hours maybe i just haven't hit my i haven't hit a wall with no man's sky i just have like i literally log in i go to all my um because i know i I, like learned how to set up mineral um extractors Mm -hmm. so like you can you pretty much survey a planet like while you're walking on it and you can detect mineral like mineral deposits yeah and you can they'll be like graded from like c to s i love that like s is just always the the best thing yeah s tier it's like why like you could just go d to a well that's (laughs) what americans do (laughs) but usually like japanese games at least like i remember hearing like a a game that i i can't remember what it it was metal gear was like the first game i heard that has like rankings and it ended with s and that was the first time as a kid that i learned about that i was like oh in japan they have an extra one that's crazy (laughs) i had no idea um and so when you find one then you can set up like uh mineral mineral extractors and so now i have all these farms on like different planets hell yeah so i literally fucking i literally just let's go I have my I have my plants at my home base and then I just teleport to all of my uh, farms and you you can build like supply depots and you can build more to, so that they hold more. And then I just like collect shit like that's that's what this game has turned into. That's, I have like stuff all, it's that I've the real that I've made. Yeah, like I've had stuff like because I have really high uh, high end, um, I guess, blueprints for stuff mm-hmm. that I think I made 15 and the total of them to sell is like $204 million or million units. And I can make like so many more. I've got like, I got an alien ship. I got a cool ship. The, the ship thing. I wish that it was better in the game because literally it's like, Oh, where do you find like S class ships? Oh, well it's usually it's in these systems. So I went to one of the systems that this video showed and it's like, okay, if you don't see the ship, then you like put down a save point and you just save and then like reload your save. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is how you get a fucking S class ship. <laughs> so you just have to keep reloading. And that's mm. literally what I was doing. And it's I'm very like, video gamey. It's a very like, this isn't fun. Like make it, system. make it even like a challenge. Yeah. Make it something like a quest, make it something like that instead of just like, Oh, I'm just going to reload my save until I see it land. And then I buy it for 
chump change because I'm like a multi-billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Out here controlling the galaxy. The game like is fun. I'm, I'm in the I'm in the fourth uh, fourth galaxy. It's nice. I forget what it's called. But man, the game is just it's it's when I really don't want to do anything. And I'm just like, I'm just going to run around. Here we go. Going to load it up. Shoot just, some stuff. Yeah. 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 Make make millions of dollars. Make a base. I got to make more bases. I don't know <laughs> why, but you said it. make a bait. And I thought you were going to be like, make a baby, you know, just, just casually. Sure. You know, why yeah. not? Hey, man, you never that's know. In, that's the, no game. Man's Sky's got a lot of shit. You never know. Sure, that's the next. That's the next. Uh, it's the next update. You'll see. Yeah, yeah. You can get married, have kids, just like Stardew Valley. Can you do that in Stardew Valley? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't yeah, played. Dog. It's, wait, just at all? I think I like tried it, and then it just never, never got me. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I think Stardew like, I like, Valley. Hold on, I have a list because I like the aesthetic, but it's just. Oh, it just so never good. really um where is this? Yeah, never got its hooks in me. I was just kind of like I think I Stardew know. Valley is my third yeah, I have a list. Stardew Valley is my third favorite video game of all time. It's so good. It's so good. But I get that. I it came out in a, at a great time for me in like the summer at one point. And I didn't really know anything at all about it. I just bought it. It, because it was like surging in popularity and i was like oh what is this and i bought it and just fucking got sucked down the rabbit hole of it was a very minecraft for the first time kind of experience of like oh what's this let me open the wiki oh they so they each have schedules so you can give them gifts and they like this gift but abigail's gonna be here on tuesday in the spring <laughs> like sometimes yeah. i'm weird in the like like i went into genshin impact knowing i didn't know how fucking polished and just great it was gonna be but i went into it knowing all about the like that when you got in it was gonna be complicated there was gonna be a shit ton of currencies there were gonna be all these stats like i just knew that and part of me was like fucking confuse me baby you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> sometimes i don't know why sometimes i'm like i don't want any of this shit and sometimes i'm like give me all the confusing jargon and currencies in the world yeah. <laughs> make me figure it out why do i like that i don't know <laughs> it doesn't make any sense but sometimes i'm just like fucking confuse me you know get me get me in there because like I, I don't know maybe that maybe that just gets me more invested i don't know I don't know. Sometimes yeah, I just like, I think, like the... Well, it's like with Destiny, whenever there's a new update and it's like... And when we first had this update and it was like, Umbral Decoder, and you put the thing in the Umbral Decoder and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. But I love it because it's just like, it's shit that I don't know in a game that I love. And so it's just like, I want to figure this out. Okay, well, I put it in there. Oh, and I get this drop. Oh, that's cool. And then... Yeah, I like I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I guess it always it always depends, but it really depends on my mood for some weird reason. But lately, I was like, <laughs> "Fucking give me give me all that confusing shit, you know? Give me in there." I saw um, a tweet huh. from <laughs> like Greg Greg retweeted it, but it was Paris. He says, "If Jamie Fox can come back as Electro, then Charlie Cox better be coming back as Matt Murdock." Oh my god! And I'm like, no, shut the I don't no Tyson. Shut the fuck up, sir. How dare you disrespect Matt Murdock's name and Charlie He's Cox's a good... Name. How dare you? How he's a good... dare you? He's not a movie actor. I'm sorry, oh, he's not. Oh, come on. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know? I haven't seen him in a movie. Exactly. You don't know. Exactly. But you don't know. He could prove you no. wrong. He's no. so good. Daredevil's great. Daredevil's good. Daredevil's fucking fantastic. Season one is good. Season one, season so two, good. Oh my god. Season two, half of season two is good. The other half is half shit. Is, half is season real rough. three. Season two is so season, weird. Like why? Why split it into two arcs like that? Like it was so yeah. very. Well, anime. there's a lot of shows that do that now. Yeah. Where it's, they're like, it's, so it's like weird. They can't. I don't get it either. Yeah. It's like you already have a short ass season. Why would you split? <laughs> like, <laughs> why it doesn't did, make any sense? I don't know. I, it is very weird. Like it's. I remember uh, seeing that for the first time in in anime where like. I thought I was on a totally new season. And then I'm like, no, this is yeah. just the second half. And I was like, but they, they went to a completely different Why? place. Like, this is a totally different story yeah. arc. <laughs> but they just do that. Like, they just do two arcs say, in a season. And it's like, oh. I like, okay. I like Jessica Jones better than Daredevil. Okay. If we're talking Jessica Jones season one compared to Daredevil season one, 
I think I yeah. agree. I agree. I agree. I think no, Jessica I'm just Jones like, season one. I'm is, going. I'm going full see, no, full pack. Absolutely yeah. not. Jessica Jones yeah. season one is like one of the best seasons of television. Jessica Jones season one is incredible. Um, Daredevil season one is really good. Uh, season two and eh, not so much. Half of it's awesome with the fucking Punisher. Um, season three. Season three season? Yes, season three was the last season okay. of Daredevil. Actually, pretty only, fucking good. Whereas Jessica Jones good, season it's two, only good because not of so the much. Kingpin, like Kingpin. No, no dude, yeah. the the Bullseye character was really fucking dope. Like I, they did yeah, really good was, job. Yeah, he was, but him. like, they did I, I kind of wanted more. But like, I got I got what I wanted from Kingpin, like round two. Yeah, yeah. Um, um I just don't like. I don't they, like Daredevil. Jessica that Jones. Character. They only did. They only did. No, they two did three. Se- did they? Yeah. Two and three, man. No, the thing is, is that it's They're like not good. this is why I like this is especially three. look it up. No, season three was good. Season two was about the mother, but her mother. Season two was about the mother of the mother, and it was definitely better than season three. Season three was literally like it. I don't even. Well, who was the villain in season three? Was there one? Well, it was like her. Wasn't that, it was a, wasn't like, that the thing? It was her against her friend. It was uh, like yeah, Hellcat. Yeah, the the ending no, was that, her. That was, the, it was all because Hellcat, because Hellcat killed her mom. I know, but I don't know. They the, that's do, the they thing. Didn't do a good that's job the thing with, with no with season with, three was with Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is is not a show about just like heroes and villains, and that's yeah. why I love it. It's a, it's a show about like Jessica herself and like the demons inside of her. Yeah, season three was literally like, and she doesn't want to be a hero. Like, I love that shit. That's why I love the Punisher because it's like you're not, you don't want to be this, but you, you, there's something good in you, even though you're a bad person. And I'm like, I like that because they're like both Punisher and Jessica Jones are bad people, but there's something still in them. Yeah, that like ultimately does the right thing through the wrong means. Yes, but it's always the right thing. With with Daredevil. He's just a good blind uh, <laughs> lawyer, which I guess I he's like. already a good like guy. Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna do like," and I'm like, "Okay, fine." I just he's season, like Batman, but blind. Yeah, dude. Season three <laughs> of Jessica Jones was literally like, because it it does end up being like her friend was like the villain, but like throughout most of that season, she's not. And she's not even really like they're trying to do the like gotta watch her it, transitioning to the villain like by the end, but it's such a slow transition that you're like, what are we doing here? Like, what what is this season? Like, it is just like revisiting all the characters, and that's kind of how I got myself through. Was just like, oh, we're gonna see all the characters. They're just living their life. We're seeing like, what they they're just, doing. Uh, and I, but like, then, like it was boring. Carrie, uh, what is it? What's her name? Carrie Ann. From the Matrix. Oh, you haven't seen the Matrix. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, the I, lawyer. Now that you say that, I know you're talking. Do- Hogarth. Hogarth. Yeah. yeah. Um, one, she's Canadian. Love her. So she's great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she's a great, she's a great character. That's a, there are better. Hogarth sucked. By the end. What? I mean, she was no, like. I loved, I loved Hogarth. She was good. I, season one, I'm telling, season one was just impeccable. But like, after season one, Hogarth just kept being hogarth and you can only do that she's like bad again it's a it's a show about bad people but they're like she was just terrible daredevil's not like karen's this like this sweet innocent girl and then you find out oh she had some stuff happen in her past in season three wasn't it wasn't there something i think i remember that i'm trying to from her like hometown some shit like that then you got Foggy. Oh, yeah. I actually really like that. They did a whole episode on, like, Karen's past. It was, like, yeah. a very flashback. And that was, like, a really good self-contained episode. I remember watching that, and, like, at the beginning, it, you realize, you're like, oh, this is going to be a flashback of this. This is going to be that yeah. story. And I was like, all right, bold choice, because I was actually really enjoying where we just were. But let's see yeah. this. And then by the end, I was like, good job. That was really good. <laughs> I don't know, man. Daredevil is just I've quality. Seen- I will say that both both shows uh, fight scenes are shot really well because with Jessica Jones, it's like she's it's Kristen Ritter. She's a girl who does not know how to fight. Yeah, but like, and that's kind the, of the, the point. <laughs> the character. Yeah, that's the thing is like the character doesn't either. She's just really strong. Yeah, but she doesn't know how to fight. And so she literally just, it doesn't look like she's trying. Yeah, she's like doing stuff, but it's just because she's like so strong. And I, 
and like you can see that when they're filming it it's like yeah. they didn't try to make it look like she knew how to fight yeah they which, made it look like she and i'm like okay i like that which makes With sense Daredevil, narratively but le- legitimately at least to me it was boring to watch like yeah I, but there wasn't like a, a hu- there wasn't a ton of fights yeah there was like daredevil yeah Daredevil was Daredevil does have has some great there's I think Ed-dog. one scene in season three where it was like all one shot every like season has this. season one has the one shot in the hallway which is like a minute two minutes long it was something it was it was pretty long and everybody was like that was the biggest takeaway from Daredevil Daredevil yeah. season one at the beginning and everybody was like holy shit that fucking one shot that was crazy and shot. then season two they did it but this time so like the first one was down a hallway the second one, it was down a hallway, and at a certain point, you're like, oh, my God, are they doing it again? Oh, my God, they're doing it again. And then he goes down a fucking stairway, and then he goes down another hallway, and it lasts, like, five, six minutes. And then in season three, they do it for, like, 11 minutes, and he goes down an entire fucking prison. Show's awesome. Yeah. Like, they literally the whole prison up it and each it's like season. Ends up, oh, yeah. I yeah. Remember, like, I remember there, there's one. a one-shot in all of the seasons, and they up it each time of, like, oh, they're doing it again, but they're doing more. <laughs> it was so cool. I will say. So I will cool. say. Uh, the best thing to come out of Daredevil is the Punisher. Sure, sure. Punisher is very good. I wish, very good. I wish, because they did two seasons. Even right? season two of Punisher was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty. I wish good. they did a season three. Before all, I mean, Luke Cage just, was legitimately ending uh, in a good spot to uh, where like that next season was uh, going to be interesting, and then didn't no. I don't think I watched. It's all, I didn't watch all of Luke Cage. I, I didn't watch all of. The Iron Fist. Definitely dude. don't do that one. That one's no, no. Nope. I did watch um, the Defenders, which yeah. is okay. It wasn't anything special. That's how um, I felt about it as well. I was like, yeah. I liked it, but like, it was not great. But it also wasn't. It's terrible. the they're the B class. They're the B class Avengers. Like that's what they're yeah, but like, like the, sold as. The show could have done like Defenders itself could have been. It, it had so, a lot more potential that they definitely did not. Yeah. I want. I just want more. I want more Punisher. I've always loved the Punisher. He's always been one. I've just loved both of the movies. They're all. They're all the first movie. I. They can bring back the Punisher if they can bring back. They can bring back any of them, but they're. Well, I don't care. I don't care about the actor. Like he did a great job, but I mean, like I want the character back. Mm. Like I want. uh, Honestly, the Punisher Netflix see see as fucking series with um i'm trying to remember the actor's name john bernthal shane um was legitimately so beloved that if they do bring back the punisher in some way i bet you it's him and i bet you it's a continuation like if they do if if they're doing a movie well movie i don't know back maybe yeah that would be different i don't know where would they put it (laughs) and i guess i wonder i don't know who has the rights to like that actor being like you know what i mean yeah now that um, that's true if disney took it all off i don't know who i mean they i mean now it's even more simple right like it should all be under their banner like disney should just own everything now which disney well, did own they just took it off of they yeah. just took like those... all they did was cancel cancel all the netflix shows because they didn't want like conflicting things with like the marvel disney plus show like i mean like where are they gonna put them they would put it on disney plus they're not gonna put the punisher on disney plus they would if they were no you know if they made one why no because because it's not like child it's not family friendly. oh but disney plus isn't all family friendly right am i crazy yeah it is well, I was gonna open it. I don't have a login anymore. I canceled my Disney Plus. But like, there's nothing <clears> like if you go. I was to, gonna like if you go on the if you go on the Fox Road. Like, there's a lot of like R-rated Fox movies. That's what I'm saying. They're not like, on there's Disney Plus. Oh no, they're oh, not on Disney Plus. Hmm. That's weird. So they just pick and choose. That's very weird. because I think Disney also owns Hulu, so I guess they could put it on Hulu. Yeah, that's true. They also at the same time canceled Runaways, and there was another Marvel show on Hulu. Runaway, uh, yeah. Cloak and Dagger. Which well, Runaways is on Disney Plus. Is it? Now? I saw the the thumbnail for it. Um, uh, it was on Hulu originally. But see, so this is what I'm thinking. Which Runaways is, is actually not really happen. fucking good. I'm just throwing that out there. If, Last season, if not Blade, so if Blade, um, with Mahershala Ali, like does does uh like bangers. Oh yeah, I forgot about right? that. Fuck. 
That's probably going to be another like four mm-hmm. years by now. Yeah. Oh my god. But if that does good, obviously you're going to remember have the up, MCU. Like, you know. <laughs> remember it the hasn't been movie? that long, but it feels like it's been twenty years. Oh yeah. <laughs> but if that does good, please, I want Disney to make that an R-rated movie. You can't have Blade without an R-rated movie. Yeah. So then you have Blade, and then you have the Punisher, then you have Blade and the Punisher. Yeah. Like. You got it. Come got it. on. But like, and you then you have Deadpool. Like fuck, which you have they the comedy all own. Of Deadpool. Like, but yeah, they so all own now. It's like they would. I could see them making that, but I don't. They're not gonna connect that to the MCU. You know what I mean? It well, would be like Blades Deadpool. In, <clears throat> Blades in the MCU. Really? Are they gonna make that yeah. R? Like they, R? They 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 announced. Well, they announced like him with all of those I, movies to be fair i don't know anything about blade never seen the first one i know he's a character that God. exists God. <clears throat> but like are they gonna was, make that r-rated my, did they confirm that i hope i hope so they haven't confirmed it but they, like the movie's not coming out for, it's like phase yeah. five they said yeah yeah but like so i don't see them doing like super r-rated bloody violent dark shit and connecting it to the avengers like Think of the tone of the MCU that's the movies. Thing, that's the thing, That's literally the, the complaint that a lot of people have. The yeah. Avengers is over. Yeah, for, yeah. For, now, in now a way, for now. I will guarantee, I will make you a bet right now, there will never be another Avengers movie. Like, that's Avengers. That's a terrible bet. That's a terrible, no. never? Like, titled Avengers. I can see, like, Avengers. in the next five to ten years, but not no. never. There's no way. No. Bro. It's a. Prop- it's not gonna be. No way. No, they're never gonna call another movie did. Avengers colon something else. No way. No I will, way. I will, they don't. They will never. They will. They will never years. do that. They will. They will do. They'll say something like the new Avengers, but that's different. Maybe. Maybe. No, There's no, no way. I will, I will I bet. bet. There's so not. Ne- nothing is never gonna have <laughs> Avengers colon something take. else. That's a hot take. No, I've never heard one. No, because they hit so high that they do not want whatever is coming out to be compared with that. I'm with you in that that would that. probably be smart of them to, to not do that. Uh, yeah. But there's there's no way. There's no way they no, would I don't do think that in the past. The thing is, is like Marvel and Disney, they've they've done it. They've like created this this machine, and yeah. now they don't need like we they we have uh what is it Shang Chi? We've got Eternals um, and all of them. The it's going to be very, like, very different. It's going to be so, so different. Oh. And they're not afraid to just to jump into like new territory. And that's what I like. And so yeah. it's like we've had 10 I'm years with the Avengers. It's going to be very different. I've had, we've had 10 years. We can, we can put that name behind. You can have the new Avengers. You can have the young Avengers. For fuck's sakes, you have the X-Men. The Revengers, put... dog. You know what I mean? No. Remember that Thor Ragnarok? <laughs> But what, there's never what, gonna be what's the whole? an Avengers colon and I, title movie. I turned to pick up the snake, and then he was like, "Ah, it's me on the snake." I don't know why that whole exchange popped into my head. Man, Thor's the only one that has four movies. Isn't that isn't that weird? That is crazy. That's surprising. That's crazy. Because he's the best Avenger. The strongest. He's the Avenger, strongest sure. Avenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thor snake. He's my Thor's favorite. Snake. He's my favorite Avenger. A quick FYI. He's, the, he's just the best. Um, but yeah, never never going to have another Avenger movie. I never. I mean, that's again, that's a that's a that's a hot take at least in my opinion. I I don't count I the animated ones it, either. You know, but you know, they're going to do it eventually. They're not going to no. leave that name behind. It's not. And it's but like no, the Avengers the itself thing is, is, is a property and a group that has lived and evolved and changed and rebooted and all sorts of shit for years for like, I don't know. When did, when did the Avengers like the first in the comic book? Like the fifties or sixties? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's been at least 50 years of different groups of the Avengers, different versions, like rebooting with it. It's like justice league. Like this one rebooted with cyborg instead of blah, blah, blah. Like they've done that shit for years it's going to happen in the movie form eventually. No, no, there will absolutely. No. You're telling me here's, here's another question. Are you telling me that in 20 years, 
They don't make a reboot. They They don't make an Iron Man with a different character. Same universe, but here's new Iron Man. What like like Shuri? Like she'll be Iron like Man, Shuri or, like Iron or some character pass. Like there's a there's a girl in the comics who, who well, there's has already like another taken Black Widow. The, the mantle. It's gonna be you her. I mean, hundred percent. It's gonna be her sister. Yeah. Within the the Black Widow movie, she's gonna be the new Black Widow. Yeah. But like they're again, you know what I mean. Like but she's not gonna be as important as uh, Natasha. Sure. She's just gonna be yeah. on the side more sure. and more. But more, like more you're more telling me they're not gonna make a movie that's like Iron Man twenty years from now. maybe not called Iron Man, but like you're saying the new Iron Man or something like that. I think like Shuri will take up the mantle. I think that's like the only like maybe uh, I don't know. That's, that's the only that's choice. No, because okay, th- like this is getting out of the movie scene, but like. Because of uh, um, Black Panther, they're not going to recast. I hope they don't recast. I hope that care like, but but they need something, and I and I, this is it sounds terrible, but like they need something from that universe to like live on. Yeah, and I think that Shuri was well, already going to become Iron Man because she is the smartest um, like person yeah, but- in the the universe. So I think that would be a in good the comic idea. in the comics she does she does be, she does like don the the Iron Man suit the left so, monitor of mine just went completely black for a second what's going on and now there's like the type, no color the, the color's cardboard. all fucked up oh uh, no it's like in a black and white and yellow just turn it on did turn oh it on oh again. shit it like flashed like red. Like 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 digital lines. Oh my god, yeah. my monitor is finally dying. Oh no! You gotta, no, you got a ghost, dude. I've had this monitor for like fifteen years. Oh, that's well, not yeah, true. That's dying. not true. Fifteen <laughs> years. That's such an exaggeration. I've had it legitimately since I was like fifteen, though. Like this is the first computer monitor that I have. Like it's old. It, it's fine now. I was honestly thinking that Ion might have. She's laying at my feet, like at the cord. So yeah, I could have got maybe shorted got out somehow. Jostled, but it's fine now. So that's interesting. Okay, that was creepy. It was like I was getting hacked, like straight up. It was like from a movie. <laughs> Time of, like, to red hack. lines and like, whoa. Um. Also, I didn't think yeah, it was the- Shuri in the comics. I thought it was another girl. Well, there's there's rescue, which is um, Gwen. What's her name? Uh, what's Gwen's name in the movie? What's Gwen's name? Gwen. I don't Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> what's her oh, What's uh, her name? Pepper. Pepper. Um, she's rescue, and like she was rescue. In- this girl, Iron Heart, Riri Williams. Uh, this is who Shuri- I was thinking of. Oh. Here. Uh, that's who I was thinking of. And she like okay. takes up the mantle. So it's not Shuri, but it is a character that is like really well versed in tech and stuff like, like yeah. it's very similar to Shuri's character, but it's not Shuri in the comics. That's why I was like, just, you know, I can absolutely see them doing Shuri in the future, but yeah. that's very far down the line. There's no way they do that anytime soon. No, we're going to have, we're going to have a whole, we're going to have like three, phases before we ever see another iron man yeah yeah because we were in phase four well technically that's next year's phase four phase five we we only know blade and fantastic four they just showed like they just showed mahershala ali and then they just showed fantastic four they just showed the logo they never what a world mcu when it finally comes back it's gonna it's gonna come back that's uh, it's oh. still but the thing is, is, is crazy. like crazy spider-man just doing his own thing uh what is what is the third spider-man movie Spider-Man it has ones. to be called home they Something said home. they said the director confirmed that uh home was in the title like legit <laughs> just like and i was like that's, that's okay a cool i don't know what they're gonna do uh, though like what more can you do homecoming far from home Spider-Man. Spider-Man ain't got no home. <laughs> That's it. Spider-Man 3, I ain't got no home. <laughs> I ain't got, I ain't no, got home. no home. That's it. Spider-Man home loses home. his job <laughs> and is homeless on the Home street. alone. Spider-Man is home alone. <laughs> and it's just Spider-Man. Contraptions. 
<laughs> it's a bucket of web. Just spider- oh, yeah, <laughs> Spider-Man's just setting up traps for two burglars. <laughs> God. Spider-Man is somehow, he's somehow de-aged, so now he's like an eight-year-old again. And he's like, well. Oh, God. I don't have my strength, so I gotta use these traps. You know, I'm okay with Jamie Foxx coming back as Electro. Oh, I'm stoked or, about it. I'm stoked yeah. about what it can mean. I'm not stoked about it, but the thing is, is I'm excited if they make him different. Like, I don't want the glowing skin. I don't he want said how he wasn't going to be blue. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, literally, so Jamie with... Foxx came out and said, I'm going to be Electro in the next Spider-Man movie, and I won't be blue. <laughs> that was, like, yeah. in the headline that I saw. Because, like, Electro was a great character, but, like, just make him how he was in the comics and the TV show. Like, it was he's just a dude in a suit who has powers. He's not, like... This blue, I don't know. I am so... thoroughly excited for what that could mean for that movie. Like, yeah, he literally, I he's think not the same character, though. He said, it, we don't know. I'm he's not actually, the same, like the the whiny, like the the mailman or whatever. <laughs> he was like a mailman. <laughs> He was, a, he, was like, he was a janitor. He was like a janitor. Dude. Was he a janitor? In like oh Norman God, Labs or worse. <laughs> Yeah. I remember him being very, like his character being very like. Then people started saying like, oh, they're going to set up the Sinister Six. I'm, look, I'm looking this up. And like. I'm looking up officially what he said because I, there's more information. Uh, I'm fine see. with them setting up a Sinister Six. But. We don't have two big parts of the Sinister Six in my mind. And I know the Sinister Six also changes, but like, you can't have a Sinister Six without Doc Ock and the Hobgoblin. Those are two, in my mind, are like two of like the best the best um, of the Sinister Six. So the theory is that he is very possibly the same Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2. And it is very possibly this movie is diving into multiverse Spider-Man shit of, like, fucking Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. It's possible. That's the theory. Because So, so this is really what he said. Gonna, they're just going to shit the bed on this third It's going to be no, another Spider-Man 3. But why would that be? <gasps> they could absolutely no. do that, and it would be cool. Um no. It, this, they just, this article is they bringing this up. To I it. totally forgot about it. It says, uh, considering how the MCU is delving into the multiverse in a few years with Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness, I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. Fuck. Um, but now they're gonna be. Fucking so this with- is this is Jamie Foxx's Instagram post. Uh, that he has now deleted. He he tweeted out, he posted an Instagram post and then he deleted it. It said, tell Spidey, let's run it back. Super excited to... Uh, to be part of the new Marvel Spider-Man new installment. Uh, he has some rough time with grammar here. So can't wait for y'all to check the new one. And I won't be blue in the new one, but a thousand percent badass with three exclamation points. <laughs> so he's not going to be blue. And uh, he's he's in the thing. But yeah, the like theory Fox, from a lot of people actor. is like they're doing a live action Spider-Verse. Totally totally could be possible and cool no they're gonna shit the bed but have they ever because they don't say dark world because it's not no but this one is more i don't think like marvel has anything to do with this. they they absolutely do yeah 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 this is the this is the next mcu spider-man movie no but i think like this is well this is the last one yeah the from the current deal that they have yeah and the home Kim, homecoming and far from home are like disney creative control like mcu but it's produced you know? by sony yeah so the money is by sony yeah there there's a it's a weird deal where like they get certain business whatever honestly but, like marvel kevin feige it's like in their control there is some creative like control i don't think it's control but there is some like creative influence from sony i think but it's not much i think well what comes out first this or dr uh strange dude we need to look up literally mcu confirmed future movies and just fucking look at like a timeline that's supposed to be a thing 
Black Widow. I think oh, yeah, 20... I forgot Black Widow. Was, you know, it was supposed to be soon. That was going to be our next one, but then, soon uh, it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be in like March. Yeah, I was, was going to say it was like... supposed to be like this year, and now it's May of next year. <clears throat> Let's see, Black Widow, and then Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, uh, Eternals, Eternals, Untitled Spider Man Far From Home sequel, Thor: Love and Thunder, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So it's weird that they're putting the multiverse. They would put the multiverse first yeah, that would into be. Spider Man, and then yeah, if they did Doctor Strange first, then it would be like, oh, I that theory does make a little more sense to me. So. Also, to have a character to do, to be able to <coughs> explain it, instead of like yeah. you have Peter who is still fairly young. Now everybody, you've seen Far From Home, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then that. everybody knows that he's Spider Man. What an ending. So there's oh yeah. So there's that ending. That was awesome. <coughs> so J. Jonah Jameson's man. Tenson. I'm I'm of the mind that if if Sony's not gonna like give Spider Man back, if they're not gonna sell them sell them back to Disney for a hundred billion dollars <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> that I feel that Marvel should just move on without him. A, I feel that we've gotten better characters than Spider-Man, like better original characters. I'm not talking about like the performance. I'm just talking about the character. Like we've gotten Ant-Man who nobody gave a fuck about Ant-Man. And now he's like one of the most. Nobody's going to argue that Ant-Man is a better character than Spider-Man, though. I, I don't, mean, I don't the, think anyone is going to argue that. Spider-Man is is fun fact. Like pulled every year, Spider-Man is like the world's most beloved Marvel hero. No, <clears throat> Marvel hero. Yeah. Which like is shocking after the MCU with like Iron Man, Captain America. Like it's crazy how he still has this much influence. They're not going to let go of Spider-Man. And people really like Spider-Man. Like that's But he's not thing. he's an okay character, that's but like not, the thing is is that's a rare take. I just want Why? you to know that you're in the minority there. I, it's fine to have no, that but take, but you know. He's an okay saying. character, but he has no progression over these like three movies. I think he does. I mean, that's kind of the whole no, point. He's, he's the same. He's still he's the same kid. Up, yo. He's growing up. No. Remember he had that kiss with MJ? He's growing oh, up. God. He's See, learning. Is, the thing is, is <laughs> like in in how many movies we saw Cap have a completely crazy arc. How good in, is that? How good was so, that? It's great. There you go. You you've got you got Captain America, you've got Avengers, you've got Captain America Winter Soldier. Already you're starting to great, see an yeah. uh, an arc. And then you've got Aven uh Avengers Age of Ultron. And then you've so like five movies. So I guess we, uh, Spider Man's been in one, two. He's three, technically four, been four, in five. Five. Five? Okay, no, four. I was thinking four. Yeah, I four. was just thinking Infinity Two War. Two Spider-Man. Oh, no, no, five, and five. No, oh, and yeah, he was in Civil War, too. Yeah, yeah, Civil War is the first one. So, and so you have this... But, like, a couple of those are really just kind of... Endgame is not I, really there for law, <laughs> you know? It's true. Like, <laughs> That's true. He doesn't but have much time to, shit, to be he in the front screen with everyone else there, too. I'm going to say, like, if he doesn't have... a pretty big arc progression in this movie it's just like those, he's the same that's character not what they, like th like even Captain iron man had America, an arc over 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 three movies sure, and i don't like iron man at all but, but like, he had an okay arc captain america at least like talking about that thor had a that great, was a very thor's arc yeah but those are th th those are the three <laughs> that's the trinity you know what i mean they of course are going to give those three like the most love and they're the ones with the no like no from the beginning, like at, Iron Man, like Captain Iron arc. Man and Captain America were like Hawkeye. and Thor. Those were Hawkeye all in phase arc. one. You know what I mean? Hawkeye, the Hawkeye doesn't arc, have any movies. <laughs> exactly. But he has a better arc than Spider-Man. But he was in there from day one. He's had more yes, time. He, a lot no, more time. You want to see? I bet there's more uh, on camera time of Spider Man than there is of Hawkeye. Sure, but like over the. Yeah, that's because Spider Man has his own movies. But like Hawkeye has been through a timeline of like, you know, more in that universe, more years. Like he's had more, yeah. like, like, let's say the dude was 20 and now he's 30, whereas Spider Man was 15 and now he's 17. You know what I mean? That's exaggerating on both ends, but you know what I mean. 
I still just don't. I That's just. I don't know. I just want to see. I want to see an I get that, but I don't really think they're gonna Man. do th that's definitely not <laughs> what they're doing you know like i'm fine and with like miles morales wanted if they're, they're doing the spider if they're doing a, a live action spider verse then you can have an adult peter like look at that an adult peter parker and a and a uh teenage miles morales sure like peter parker but they're i not feel it's just such a peter parker is such a bland character mm, that's a mm. no he is i mean i disagree how it's fucking peter parker you know what i mean that's, that's like not, that's one not of a, the that's most not a... beloved characters of all time like again I, how is he not bland how is he not bland i don't know i mean how do you exactly. define a bland character or an exciting he's just character? a blank page preference. he's the self insert he's the he's the link I mean, he's got he's the self insert personality you're supposed uh, yeah, but they he's all not a main character that. in a video game. You know, he's not the he's not the creative character. He is Peter Parker. He's the, got the photographs. He's got the <laughs> he's the <laughs> what he's else the is the shepherd? He's, <laughs> he's got he's the shepherd, photographs. <laughs> he was a he was a punk skateboarder in Amazing Spider. <laughs> what else? All I'm saying is, he's the self insert. He's not. He's the one on the out that like you you feel connection with because you're on the out. Yeah, that's like, the whole idea is the nerdy kid in high school gets picked on, but really he's the fucking spider man, yeah. Yes, but he's been, he, he, that's not, he's not a time capsule. Like he grows I mean, up. Sure. But like we started with Spider-Man at like, you know, him being 15 or whatever in Civil War. And he's only had like two, three years canonically in that timeline so like I wonder what the span he's still of time in high is, school though you know like, like the he's, span he, of time he will grow but and you know knowing mcu they are very good about that but like he's still young and they did that on purpose because people wanted a young high school spider-man like even spider-man one toby mcguire isn't he like graduating in spider-man one like from high school and going into college like it, isn't that like from the beginning amazing spider-man i'm pretty sure he is in college like they're all the older like college kind of years of spider-man and people wanted the high school young kid and they got it and they i think they will grow him uh and you know if they were smart they could grow him up have him be the mentor and still do high school spider-man but do it with miles uh, they could they could do both in the future, but uh, you know that's that's still just time. You know, just I don't like I I don't know time. I I think that Sony's gonna try and do their own thing, like they're doing with Venom. They're gonna try and put Spider Man with Venom. That's yeah. gonna absolutely happen. Yeah, and well, and it's just, well, it's actually, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If what do you mean? Do that? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Venom is a Spider-Man villain. Yeah, he is. But like, Whoa. that's n right now. Marvel owns the right to Spider-Man movies. No, to these three Spider-Man movies. Yes, they don't own after the this, rights. No, they don't. They don't own the rights. They're no. they're in a they're in a partnership. They're in an agreement. So after it's this literally like third Sony movie, they just like could. lending them. Yeah. But like right now, Sony cannot make a Spider-Man movie on their own. Like that's yes, not. They can. I'm pretty sure that is part of the deal that they cannot make another. Like they can't, and they, at they least own, if they do it, it's it can't be Tom Holland. No, they own Tom. Like they own Tom Holland. That's why. Remember this whole but thing this about is the like, agreement that they that no Disney does these three. Like that's no, they that's don't the do agreement. these three. They're in a they're in a partnership for these three. Yeah. Remember yeah. the whole thing about this was just like last year where um, there was going to be no more Spider-Man. movies. Yeah, I, I know. And they made this deal. This is what I thought the deal was that the Disney was for, owns. For, a, it doesn't own, but Disney has the rights to do these next three creative like movies. Sony has like, I think it was like merchandise rights or something. It was something very businessy and they have Spider-Man for these next three movies. And then the whole thing is like for, after for that the homecoming, like then those they can do movies. whatever the fuck they want um and then no like so homecoming far from home and then this third one yes so after, after this that, third one yeah that's that's what i'm saying after that maybe they could do whatever they want and they so could put him with venom but like that's a long ways away and i don't i just that's I, probably like they could do that i don't think it's smart oh, they're going to do that <laughs> they're going to idea. do that 
Spider-Man and Venom are like the two. It's like Batman and the Joker. Yeah, but like they're going to do that if they don't make another deal, which honestly, it, they would be really stupid not to make another deal because I'm sure Sony's making hella money on this. <laughs> like with the no, amount not. of money that MCU makes, like they're not because it depends of the on the deal. Sure. But like if they go and make a shitty Spider-Man movie of their own, they're not going to make the money. <laughs> Like, are you sure about that? Look at how much uh, the Justice League sold, and that's a I mean, shit movie. Sure, they're going I mean, to make their money now. It's like they they launched Spider Man with just, this, just dumb. and then now they're going to get a hundred percent of a shitty movie. But people are going to see it because, like you said, yeah. it's Spider Man. I mean, Venom like Venom sold fucking way more than it should have. <laughs> and then so, now like, you have I mean, Venom. You got Venom be, versus Spider Man. Yeah. I don't want them to do that. It's a terrible idea. That's why I think just put Spider-Man to bed. <laughs> I honestly That's never gonna happen. He's there's just it's just too unless you can buy him back. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, I hope ideally they just make another deal. But you're right in will. that I could absolutely see them not doing it. But, uh, you know, Sony's greedy. Look at Sony, like with the Avengers game, like Sony's a gr greedy fucking company. Yeah. Oh, hey, let's put Spider-Man in our version of the game. It's yeah. Like, why? That's, but that's you could still put them in whole exclusive deal. They've been doing that for years. It's not good, but, you know, but it's still Sony. Like they could yeah. easily say. It's on all platforms, and now we have a, a we can take a portion, like a percentage from all the PC sales. Yeah. Because Spider Man's in that game. But like, they can do that, something. That's, uh, that's different, like departments. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that it's is still the Sony. Sony. It's still Sony. Sure, but like the Sony overlord is not making both of those decisions. The, both no, but of like, those there's decisions like a, are coming from two different people and two different places. I I don't think so because it's Spider it's Spider-Man like it's a Spider-Man property so like the people who are involved with that uh IP they probably is going to be involved with every is going to be involved with every decision that it's like in that yeah. Spider-Man's in. But this like that decision for that game is not it's very in line with PlayStation and all of the exclusive decisions they've made in the past. I don't know if But like Insomniac wasn't and it's a different Spider-Man, so it's not the same as Insomniac. Yeah. It's a different Spider-Man. Yeah. It's a totally different person. So what is there stopping them putting it on other it's just it's because just that's just greed. PlayStation's exclusive policy. No, you know and that's I mean? also Sony. Yeah. Because Sony owns Spider-Man. Sure. They can do whatever they want with them. Yeah. But I, I I don't know. I don't I don't I could totally see that like whoever is in charge of that Spider-Man like license uh having a say in that, but it's it's still very like that's just what PlayStation does, you know? Yeah. So I can Sony see. is a shitty, greedy company. Mm. And they do what they want. Mm. And so I want them to take Spider-Man, do what you want with him, and drive him into the ground like you <laughs> did with those last two movies. Like, not the last two, but the two before. Mm -hmm. Just drive him into the ground. And then we forgot about Spider-Man for a long time. And it's true, we did. After Andrew no Garfield, we were like, about Spider who? No, Spider who? everybody wanted Spider-Man in the MCU for years. They're like, why? When are we going to get Spider-Man in the MCU? The day that it happened, I remember the joyous day <laughs> that everybody was rejoicing in the streets. Didn't you go still... out and party in the streets <laughs> no. and swing in your graduation not. cap? Going, a... <laughs> woo, Spider-Man's in the MCU, motherfuckers. No. And then somebody yelled from their He's balcony. Not... Neither of those movies, <laughs> neither sleep. of those movies are even in my top five. They're not even in my top five. Uh, Tyson, you're spitting some takes right now. I just want you to know that. You spit what, a lot of hot they're good takes movies. for Spider-Man. They're good movies. I just movies. want you to know. They're not in my top five. There are better movies than both Spider-Man movies. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. You know, I, like, I don't think they're in my top five either, but they're, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Because they're I don't... shit movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah. fuck. laughs> oh my god that came oh, doubling down <laughs> shit but do i have i made an mcu ranking forever ago but i don't think it's updated think from november 8th 2017 is the last time i updated it so i don't think it has infinity war on it that's the last movie that yeah yeah that's the last one that i have on here 
I really need I thought to I did. This. I guess I... Actually, Spider-Man Homecoming is my number four on this list, which is which is I can outdated, I know my top so. five. My top five is, uh, I think one is Guardians two. That's two that's my number is, two. Two is Endgame. Three is Ragnarok. Four is Guardians one. Five is. I gotta gonna, update this list. Fuck. What's my five? I think five is. What did I say? And um, Guardians two, Endgame, Ragnarok, Guardians one. What's my fifth favorite Marvel movie? Maybe I'll put Avengers, the first one. I'd have to really like think about it, but maybe yeah, maybe Avengers the first one. I am or missing four movies maybe Civil right now War. on this list. Civil War Civil is War. my number Civil three. War is probably yeah, I'd probably put Civil War my five. Uh, I am missing Ant Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, Endgame, and and Far From Home on this list, and I should add them in here. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I should. You know what we should There's talk the, about? Uh, the show that the one hundred. <laughs> Do a that we do a podcast about because <laughs> honestly i mean i should save it for the episode i'm gonna save it for the episode i have my notes here i got my notes i have my notes i do need to pee real bad okay. and okay. my hand is also cracking again from the cold so i'm gonna put lotion on my hand Put the lotion on the skin or else I, it gets the no, hose again god damn it i knew that was gonna happen uh i do have Three full pages of notes this time. I've got two, but I, this, I talk really weird. I do like bullet point and then. Yeah, I mean, minor, a, minor bullet points. This has been an episode. It's been a season. We have thoughts. We should get to it. Yeah. I, yeah there's a bathroom. lot. Yeah, I got to pee. I'll be right back.